For four weeks now, this open courtyard has been home to over 30 displaced Iraqi families. Another 600 families have been sleeping on the street in this small northern Iraqi town. Chinar and her husband fled to Duhuk a few days after their third child, Rahav, was born. The family fled their village in Sinjar when fighters seized the area. Chinar and her husband put little Rahav and two other sons in the car and left their home, selling whatever they had to make the journey. Along the way, Rahav refused to be breastfed because of heat. The six-day journey was difficult. After weeks in the open, it was a huge relief for Chinar when she heard her family would be relocated to a camp. Iraq's newest camp is run by Kurdish authorities with the support of UNHCR and its humanitarian partners. It's one of nine camps opened in recent weeks across the country. Family-sized tents are given out, helping to improve their living conditions. But it's work in progress. When Chinar and her family moved into their new tent, there was no electricity, and water was a five-minute walk. Despite soaring summer temperatures outside, Chinar is already worried about winter. Shelters with concrete floors and walls, better protection for the coming winter, are already underway a few meters away. But with so many in need, it's a race against time. In the family tent, little Rahav sleeps, unaware of how displacement has changed her family's life for a long time to come. <laughs> 